This is a demonstration on how to create a randomized quiz in D2L. The first step in creating a randomized quiz is getting your quiz questions into the question library. So if you go to the quizzes page and go to question library, you'll need to have a folder, which in D2L they're called sections, for each section of your quiz. So you may choose to put each chapter in its own folder or you may have several chapters in one folder. It just depends on how you want them to be able to be selected once you create the quiz itself. I would recommend that you create a chapter or a section for each chapter. I'll have a separate tutorial on how to create sections in the question library, but if you've already got your questions in the question library, now you're ready to go into the quizzes area and create your quiz. So I'll go back to the quizzes page and I'm going to create a new quiz and you would give this a name. Maybe you're doing a practice quiz and you can choose whether or not you're going to link this to the grade book and then I'll just skip ahead here. I'll just save this and then I'll go to the question layout questions tab and show you how to create that random section. So go to layout questions, add edit questions, and then select new random section. You'll give this section a name and then you'll save it. This is creating a folder which will hold the questions that you want to use. So now that I have my section created, I have to put questions in there. So I will click on the section which opens that section, projects one and two, and then I need to import questions into this folder. So I'll click import and you see the source collection is the question library. This is why you have to have your questions over in the library to begin and then which section do I want to pull the questions from? I can select that and in this case I'm gonna pull them from 1 and 2 so the first project, let me just do project 1 grammar and it'll pull up all the questions that are in your question library folder you can select individual questions or you can select all questions by clicking the top box so I want to pull all of these questions in, so I'll click Save. And I also want to bring in Project 2, so I'm going to click Import again. Which section do I want to import from? I'll choose Project 2. And again, I'm going to choose All Questions and Save. So now, in my quiz itself, my practice quiz, I have a folder, a random folder for projects 1 and 2, and I have imported 1 and 2 into this. So you can see all those questions are there. There's a total of 20 questions, and this becomes my test bank for this pra practice quiz. Now I need to determine how many questions I want to pull out of this bank for each time the student takes this practice quiz. In this case, I'm going to choose 10. So each time a student takes this practice quiz, it's going to pull 10 questions, questions randomly from this set of questions. You can determine how many points per question. And then you'll click Save. After you click Save, you'll go over to the right and click Done. And now you can see here I am on the Layout Questions tab. and it brings in, here's my section that I created and it's going to choose 10 from 20 questions and it won't list the individual questions because it's going to be pulled randomly each time a student takes this. Okay, so I'm going to go back and look at that again. Um, let's go into that quiz and look at the question layout. So in this example I put questions from project 1 and 2 into one section. So this um, it's possible that students would 
get several questions from project one and very little from project two. It could be um, disproportionate. If you want to make sure they get an equal number of questions from project one and project two, you'd want to create two separate sections here. So what you would do in that case is you would go to add edit questions and instead of just having one random section here, you would create a second random section. In this case I'm going to do project 3 and save. So now I have another section here. Go into project 3 and import. And then I'll bring all these questions in and save. And then how many do I want to bring from this? Let's see, there's six questions here. I'll bring in five and save that. And then done. So then what you'll see the difference is this is going to choose 10 from 20 and then this is going to choose five out of six in this case. You may have more questions in there, but but this would guarantee that they're going to get questions out of each project um, if you separate them into individual folders for each project. So then what you'll want to do is you'll want to preview this. Let's do a save here. And then you'll want to preview this just to make sure it looks good. Start quiz. OK. And here's my list of questions where it'll bring in um, the first set of 10 will be from projects 1 and 2. And then once we get down to 11 through the 15, um, those will be from project 3. So I'll do a separate video on how to get questions into the question library.